In this video, we are going to see how to solve quadratic equations by the formula method. And this is discussed in exercise number 2.5. So, let's say the general form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And we know that a is not equal to 0 and a, b and c are real numbers. Then we can directly find the value of x using this formula. Minus b, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac the whole upon 2a. Either you learn this formula or you just practice a few sums and you, all, you can already learn the formula. Now, let's take an example. 3y square plus 7y plus 4 is equal to 0. So here, first of all, we need to write this in the standard form. So it's already in the standard form. So once it's in the standard form and the variable is y, we can state that here a has a value of 3, the value of b is positive 7, and the value of c is 4. So this is the value of a. This is the value of b, remember the plus sign also, and this is the value of c. Now, first of all, let's find what is b square minus 4ac. So, 7 square, the value of b is 7, minus 4 into a into c. We are putting in the values. So, 7 sevens are 49, minus 4 threes are 12. 12 fours are 48, so we get b square minus 4ac as 49 minus 48, which is 1. So what is square root of b square minus 4ac? The square root of 1 is simply a 1. So now let us use the quadratic formula. This time the variable is y, so y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac the whole upon 2a so we shall substitute is equal to minus b so putting a minus sign and the value of b is 7 so minus 7 plus or minus what is the square root of b square minus 4ac it's a 1 since we are writing plus or minus in the formula we are not writing plus or minus over here when we square root both sides. So we just ignore this plus or minus for the time being because we are going to put it in the formula directly. So, yeah, so this is a minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac the whole of all 2a. So the value of a is 3. So it is 2 into 3. So this can be written as minus 7 plus or minus 1 the whole upon 6. Now, we can split this as y is equal to minus 7 plus 1 the whole upon 6 or y is equal to minus 7 minus 1 the whole upon 6. So, minus n plus is minus, 7 minus 1 is 6, sign of the greater one is minus, minus 6 upon 6 which is minus 1. Similarly over here, minus and minus is plus, 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 upon 6, sign of the greater one is minus, they both go in the table of 2, so 2 3's are, 2 4's are, so the other value is minus 4 upon 3. So the formula method is one of the simplest methods to solve. Let's have a look at the other example. 7x plus 1 is equal to 6x squared. First of all, let us write this in the standard form, in the general form. So we'll take both these terms from the other side. So it is 0 is equal to 6x square minus 7x minus 1. We can rewrite this as 6x square minus 7x minus 1 is equal to 0. So the values of a, b, and c are a is equal to 6, b is equal to minus 7, and c is equal to minus 1. This is the value of a, this is the value of b, and this is the value of c. Note a, b, and c's value only after writing in the standard form. So, since the variable is x this time, using the formula method we can write x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of 
b square minus 4ac the whole upon 2a. <coughs> yeah, this time we did not find um, b square minus 4ac. We can do it just directly. So minus b. Now the value of b itself is minus 7. So minus of minus 7 plus or minus square root of b square. So it's minus 7 square minus 4ac. So minus 4 into a which is 6 into c which is minus 1. The whole upon 2a that is 2 into 6. So if you like you can find b square minus 4ac first, find its square root and then put the formula or you can directly substitute as I am showing it right now. So minus n minus is plus so positive 7 plus or minus square root of now, minus 7, the whole square is a positive 49, minus 4, 6 is 24, 24, 1 is, is also 24, but minus n minus becomes a plus, the whole upon 12. So, this can be simplified as 7 plus or minus square root of now 9 plus 4 is 13 1 carry uh, 5 6 7 73 the whole upon 12 so we have the two answers directly either x is equal to 7 plus square root of 73 the whole upon 12 or we have 7 minus square root of 73 the whole upon 12. So now let's have a look at the last sum. 9 is square minus 4 is equal to minus 6 s. So we'll take this minus 6 s on this side it will become plus 6 s. So 9 s square plus 6 s minus 4 is equal to 0. So, the values of a, b and c are a is equal to 9, b is equal to 6 and c is equal to minus 4. So, <coughs> this time the variable is s. So, by using the formula method we can write s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac the whole upon 2a. So, no need to by heart the formula. Just practice a uh, few sums and you can learn the formula directly. So, let's substitute. It's minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square b square 6 square minus 4 into 9 into minus 4 the whole upon 2 into 9 let's see what happens is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square is 36 minus and minus is plus so we have a positive number 4 nines are 36, 36 fours are 1.4, the whole upon 2 nines are is 80. Is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 plus 4 is 10, 1 carry 4 plus 14 is 18, the whole upon 8. So we feel that we are almost done. But we need to factorize this 180 to see if something comes up. So 180. So 2 19s are, 2 45s are, 3 15s are, 3 5s are, and 5 40s are. So we can see that a 2 and a 3 comes up. So we can rewrite this square root of 180 as square root of 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. So out of the two twos, one two comes out. Out of the two threes, one three comes out, and the five remains inside the square. So we can rewrite this as minus six plus or minus six root five. Three two is six. The whole upon eighty. Now do not make the mistake of cancelling this way. Six ones are six threes are. This is wrong. It is wrong because. Uh, there is a plus or minus sign. Whenever there is a multiplication sign, only then we can cancel. So how to cancel this? The idea is we can take 6 as a common thing. So we can take 6 outside 
and we can rewrite this as minus 1 plus or minus square root of pi the whole of our AB. Now 6 and this bracket are multiplying so we can cancel this 6. 6 1s are 6. 6 3s are 18. And then we can rewrite this as minus 1 plus or minus square root of pi the whole upon 3. So we have two answers. Either this s is equal to minus 1 plus square root of pi the whole upon 3 or s is equal to minus 1 minus square root of pi the whole upon 3. Hope you understood this. Thanks for watching.